Let us solve just your basic everyday projectile problem where we're going to launch something at 45 meters per second at 50 degrees. It could be a catapult, could be a rocket, it could be a cannonball, it could be a person. Don't know. 45 meters per second at 50 degrees. So we always start with separating the vertical and horizontal. And then we do uh, sine and cosine so that we can get the 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 horizontal piece the horizontal piece of this 45 meters per second as well as getting the vertical piece of this 45 meters per second okay so viy velocity initial in the y direction is v sine theta 45 sine 50 horizontal vix for not velocity initial in the x direction is v cosine so vx cosine Say it about 45 cosine 50. Okay. And then we write down our, our knowns, uh, our givens. A is negative 9.8. Time we don't know. Distance initial. We can always start at zero. Distance final, like how high does it go? We don't know yet. Velocity to the top, though, we do know the velocity at the top is zero. Now, horizontally, we know the acceleration is zero. We know, don't know the time. Uh, we know our final initial velocities horizontally, sideways, will be zero because there's no acceleration sideways. Nothing slowing it down or speeding it up sideways. And uh, we're always going to start at zero. And DF, where does it land? We don't know. So let's start with just uh, our vertical, our, our sine cosine. So I set up a variable. Velocity initial in the y direction is 45 sine 50. Velocity initial in the x direction is 45 cosine 50. Okay. And then normally we start with trying to find time. And that should we use that VF equation because we know at the top that VF is zero. So here we go. VF Y, velocity final in the Y direction equals velocity initial in the Y direction plus AT. It's zero at the top. VIY is this number up here. It's a nice thing about setting up a variable with technology is you know if we change that number, the answer changes. So, uh, minus 9.8x because gravity's down. Here's what I mean by if it changes. See where the answer is right now? The answer is 3.518. If I just go in and change that, see how things change for us. All right. So, we found the time to be 3.518. Awesome. So, now we know that our time is 3.158. All right. Now, that's with zero at the top, so that's that's only half the time of the flight. So we're gonna have to double that. Okay. I'm just gonna set up a variable z equals two times. Unfortunately, I can't say times x because it just makes a graph. I literally have to go in and put in three point five one eight. Three point five one eight. I wrote that down wrong before, didn't I? Yes, I did. 3.518. So that's our time to the top. Okay. Which means our total time, our total time is double that. Okay. Time total. Oops, spell total correctly helps. T-O-T-O-T-A-L equals 7.036. 7.036. Okay. Now what do we do? Well, we found the time of top 3.518. We found the total time 7.306. Now we've got to find two distances, a vertical distance and a horizontal distance. doesn't matter which one you do first. This is the equation we use for distance. DF equals DI plus VIT equals 1 FAT squared. All right. And in this case, um, we're trying to find DF. We know we start at zero. Our VIT is at 45 cosine 50. Um, 45 cosine 50 is a 2893. 28.93. We're going to multiply that by the 7.036. And to that, we're going to add zero because acceleration is zero. Okay, let's go up. Desmos do that for us. So D. Yep, wrong one. DF in the x direction equals 
equals um, zero plus v i in the x direction times our double time, which is this 7.036. Well, because I made it a variable, I can just put z in here. And we find out that our distance, our range, our displacement final in the x direction is 203.5. All right, so you just, again, Desmos does the algebra for you. That's what's nice. 203.5 meters. Yeah, that should be seconds, right? Okay. Yeah, we, we have our sine cosine to find our initials. We have all of our knowns. Uh, we use VF equals VIAT to find our time at the top because at the top, VF is zero. Okay, but again, that's half time. That's only to the top. And because everything's symmetrical, our total time is 7036. And then we want to find where it lands. Well, it's a displacement equation, distance equation. We know we start at zero. We have an initial velocity from the 45 cosine, and then we have our, our, our double time, our total time. Gets us that, all right? Now let's find how high we go. Well, again, that's just, that's just a distance equation. DF equals DI plus VIT plus one half AT squared, all right? Okay. So we'll put in numbers. We'll go back to Desmos and do that. Um, but now we're going to say D... F in the y direction equals di, which is zero, plus vit. Um, well, well, vi is remember i i y okay times t, and t is our half time because we're just going to the top. We're finding how high to the top. Um, I don't have a variable up here for it, unfortunately, because of the way it solves things. I might be able to set one. I didn't try that, but we know it's this time right here. 3.518. Three, oops. 3.518. Where'd go? Oh, I stuck a three there. Didn't want to do that. 3.518 um, plus one half AT squared, which again is minus 4.9. And then 3.518 squared. Oop, that's not squared. Squared. And then close it. And so our height is 60.63. So you do the math, 60.63 meters. All right, so let's see what, again, let's look at what Desmos gave us. We did our initial in the y direction with sine, our initial in the x direction with cosine. We did uh, VF equals VI plus AT because at the top, we're doing y direction because at the top, velocity is zero. This is our, you know, sine part. That's our acceleration. And we come over here to the graph and find that it takes 3.518 seconds to get to the top. We need double time for the whole flight. So we had to multiply that 3.518 by, by 2. And then we want to know where it lands. So we do a DF in the, X in the X direction, which it starts at 0 and has 0 acceleration. So there's just V times T, velocity in the X direction, though which is this, you know, 45 cosine, and then times the double time, which is a 736. We found it's 203.5. Then we want to find displacement distance height in the y direction. Well, again, our distance equation is 0 plus vt plus 1 fat squared. Our v is in the y direction. That's that, you know, 45 sine theta. Our time is our half time because we only care about to the top. Then minus one half of nine point eight, which is four point nine, times the time and time squared. There we go. It does it's nice because Desmos does the algebra for you. Set it up, put the numbers in, we're good. That's your basic.